Hello friends, welcome back to Enthralling Sudoku Mania. I know we have been a bit silent in the last three days, but unfortunately there were a few creative differences that have cropped up and we were busy resolving those. So the result of that is the association was very very short lived and my partners have decided to move on and I wish them luck in whatever they do because for me it is better to let go of business relations rather than lose a personal relationship with a person and Ashish has always been a great great friend my ASC would never that is the Asia Sudoku Championship would never have been possible without his support so I wish both of them luck in whatever they do and may they achieve great success so I guess for some time I'm back alone and well the name of the channel would continue as enthralling Sudoku Maniacs as a tribute to Ashish having said that move, let's come back to the puzzle that we have in hand so after the previous video on the X-Wing in classic Sudoku's and how we use advanced techniques I had received a request from our patrons stating that they would like to have a look at other advanced techniques that may come up so today I'm going to present another classic Sudoku with a new technique that would be used later on. now obviously this starts off like a simple classic Sudoku and with a lot of givens already it appears to be very simple but believe me the, you do come across a roadblock when we progress further so the rules of the Sudoku are no digit can repeat in a row, column or a box right? oh yeah we are talking about classics so that's the end of the rules so let's start I see there is a 3 3 and 3 here this is a 3 it cannot be here this 3 cannot be here so this has to be a 3 8 also follows so this becomes a pair of 3 and an 8 this 1 7 cannot be here so the 1 7 forms a pair here this has to be a 2 3 9 2 3 and a 2 9 so if 8 is here, 8 is here, 8 has to be in this, so this becomes an 8. The remaining digits being 5 and 4, we have a 4, so this is a 5, this is a 4. 5 has to be here, so it cannot be here, so this becomes a 5. 9 has to be here, so this is a 9 and this becomes a 2, which wraps up the box. So I have 1, 2, 3. 4 is missing, so that has to be a 5, 6, 7, 8. So this has to be a 9, 2, and a 1. Alright? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 are missing. So 7 and a 6. 9, 9. This becomes a 9. 7, 7, 8, 8. Oh, in this row we have only two digits missing. 2 and 1. So 2 and 1. So that leaves me with 5 cannot be here. So 5 is part of this. Now what next? 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 7, 7. Now when I look at 8, 8, 8, this has to be an 8, so this is, this is an 8, this is an 8, hmm, oh yes, this 8 is, of box 4 is logged in column 1 and 3, and for box 7 also it is in 1 and 3, so when I look at the column 2, 8 cannot be here, it cannot be here, it has to be in these two. So this forms a pair of 4 and 8, leaving a 3 and a 7, with the 7 here, this is a 3, this is a 7, so this is 3, 8, 8, 
4, this becomes a 4 and a 5. So this is 1, 2, 1, 2, 9, 1, 2. So this is a 1, 5, 1, 7. And I require 5, 8. And I require 1, 5, 8. Oh, so this has to be a 1. And this becomes a pair of 5, 8. So here I get a 7 and a 1. Again, this would be a 5 and a 7. 1, 2, and 5 are missing. So this is 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 5. This has to be 4, 4. Yes. This is a 1, 2. And this would be 9. 8 is possible. 7 is possible. 6, 5. The 4 has to be here. The last is 4, 4, 4, yeah. 3, 2, 7, 8. And here, the possibilities are 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And here it would be 9, 8 is there. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 17, 9. All right. So this would be a 2, oh, yeah, because 3 and 9 would form a pair here, good enough. So this 1 has to be logged in column 3 of box 7. Now we come to the crux, how do we proceed? Now, when I look at Row 6, the digit 5 can either be in column 1 or column 5, right? And for row 7, it will be column 1 or column 4. Now, today we are going to look at a technique which is known as chains. In some cases, it's also called as a skyscraper or colors and in some cases players even call it a trial and error so i mean you can call it by any name but i'll circle out and mark arrows to let you understand how the chain moves now for example i'm going to start with r7c1 so i am going to circle this cell now if this were a five right it would eliminate the 5 from R6, C1. I'm just drawing an arrow to highlight the impact. And now because of this, R8, C5 would become a 5. Correct? Because I require a 5 in box 8. So the impact of this 5 is in column 5. So it eliminates the 5 from here. So now when I look closely, both the places in row 6 that could have a 5, we have eliminated the possibility of 5 from there. So hence, we have no place for a 5 in row 6. But if we were still to go further, after putting the 5 in R8, C5, the 5 would come in R5, C4 by normal classic rule which would then eliminate the 5 from R5, C2. So now you, we see that we, if we have to place an R5 in R7, C1, it would eliminate all the places, it would eliminate the digit 5 from all the places it can occur in, in box 5 and in row 6, which would give us an invalid pseudo. Hence, we can safely assume this R7C1 cannot be a 5. So we place an 8. This becomes a 5. 7. 8. This becomes a 7. So 8 would make this a 1 and a 7 and a 5. This is a 1, 2, 
5. Two, sorry, this is a 5, and this would be 1, 9. 1, 9, because we already have a 9 here. So this would be a 2. So uh, this is a 3 and a 9. 2, 3, 9, 1, and 2. And that is how this was supposed to be solved. I know that chain thing looks a bit confusing and lengthy. As I said, some people even call it a trial and an error method. But you will come across quite a lot of situations where this technique would have to be used. So always keep out, keep a lookout for cells having two options and see how the chain of that digit proceeds across the grid. So if you were to place a specific digit in a grid, follow that digit across the grid to see if there are any contradictions to the regular Sudoku rules or not. If you come across a contradiction, then you can safely eliminate that digit. And hence, this is also known as the chain today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Please like and subscribe to the channel, post a comment, let us know what you think of it, what more can we do to make it better for you. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, I would suggest you do that right away and click on the bell icon so that you are notified of new content as and when we upload. So till the next time, happy solving.